دينا سراط المستقيم الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المنقوب عليهم ولا The Kingdom of Morocco, situated in northwestern Africa and blessed with coastlines in the Atlantic and the Mediterranean, is geographically and historically a portal between Africa, the Middle East and Europe. On account of its proximity to Europe, the Middle East and Sub-Saharan Africa, Moroccan society also stands at the intersection of those cultures and boasts a unique legacy that enables it to have a firm footing in multiple cultural, social, political spheres. Morocco thus embraces a vast heritage and enjoys a prominent standing throughout Africa and beyond. The very constitution of the Kingdom of Morocco explicitly acknowledges the nation's national unity as being forged by the convergence quote of Arab, Islamic, Berber, Saharan, Hassani components nourished by its African, Andalusian, Hebrew and Mediterranean influences. Over the course of its long and rich history the Kingdom of Morocco has engaged in commitments to support and trade with Sub-Saharan Africa. And in recent history, it has renewed this commitment, becoming a significant force for development in the African continent through its expansion of financial institutions, as well as investment in agriculture, telecommunications, pharmaceuticals, and other areas. The country's push to expand ties with Sub-Saharan African countries has been invigorated by King Mohammed VI. His Majesty delivers an unambiguous message that Morocco is invested in the continent's development and is playing a leading function in its future. King Mohammed VI's commitment to economic progress and human development in Africa has been recognized on the international stage. The Kingdom of Morocco is headed by King Mohammed VI, who serves also as the Amirul Mu'minin, or the Commander of the Faithful, and he is designated as the religious spiritual leader of his citizens. Under the present King, grant programs have been established to support African students. Over 10,000 grants annually have been allocated to African students in dozens of countries to study at Moroccan universities in technical fields as well as in religious education. The Kingdom of Morocco has also sponsored a very important Imam training program in Europe and for the purposes of the present documentary, the Kingdom of Morocco's Muhammad VI Foundation for African Ulama has been an extremely important initiative that brings together the intellectual resources of Morocco as well as those of the African ulama and serves as a social, cultural and religious intersection 
between these various countries. Now, given the deep historical, religious, and cultural ties between Morocco and West Africa, and in particular Morocco's export of the traditional Sunni Islamic conception of the Maliki Madhab, the Asharite Creed, and sober Junaidi Sufism, the foundation for the African ulama has been highly celebrated in African countries. Thus, Morocco has positioned itself as a global leader of moderate Islam. فمن لم يرى في مقام الإحسان الاشتغال على إنقاذ البشرية مما تعاني من فقر وعوز وتخلف وغير ذلك إذا أمكن له هذا طبعا فلا يدعي بأنه على عمل مقام الإحسان أو على عمل نشر هذه المحبة والوئام After being awarded a prestigious trophy from the Africa Trophy Foundation for his initiatives in sustainable development projects in Sub-Saharan Africa. Sheikh Mohammed Fawzi Al-Karkari comments that those who strive for the station of spiritual virtue must devote themselves to supporting humanity by combating poverty in underdeveloped communities. Otherwise, what claim can one make to having any sense of spiritual virtue. We pray for God to make us among those who follow the exemplary initiatives of our beloved King, His Majesty Muhammad VI, for he strives to manifest the light of divine beauty by elevating the living standards of communities throughout Sub-Saharan Africa. We pray for God to protect him to protect our country and our religion through Amirul Mu'minin, the commander of the faithful. Allahumma aj'alna ala nahji sayyiduna malikuna alladhi huwa bada'a bihadihi al-mubadara fa ma tabi'na illa atharahu wa nahjah huwa alladhi sara fi إظهار جمال نور المولى ودعم هذه القرة الإفريقية من أجل أن تأخذ مسارها أعلى وأسمى فاللهم اجعلنا على أثره وانصره ولا تنصر عليه وأيد به وانصر به البلاد والعباد وأيد به هذا الدين يا ذو الجلال والإكرام وشدد أذن Following in the footsteps of His Majesty King Mohammed VI of Morocco, the Karkaria Sufi Order has echoed the national initiatives of Morocco through its own efforts to promote collaborative, community-based engagements 
with the sub-Saharan African communities. These sustainable development projects in sub-Saharan Africa are both diverse and inclusive, and the Kerkeria Sufi Order, based in northern Morocco and presided over by Sheikh Mohammed Fawzi al Kerkeri, partakes in international development initiatives in sub Saharan Africa. The Karkaria Order works in partnership with communities, local councils, and non governmental organizations. One of the central teachings of Sheikh Mohammed Fawzi al Kerkeri is the centrality and the importance of living out the full dimensions of the prophetic behavioral model, or the Sunnah, which also entails not only internal work on character transformation, cultivation of virtue, repelling vice, but also external service toward the poor, the underdeveloped communities within the reach of the order. This aspect of internal work as well as external work is an integral aspect of the Kerkaria order in particular and is reflective of the broader trends of Moroccan Sufism which have played an important function throughout the continent of Africa. While water security is one of the immediate basic needs of communities that the Karkaria supports in Togo, and while orphanages are key and crucial components of the development work of the order in the nation of Togo, the reforestation efforts by the Karkaria order are responsive to locally identified needs of communities in Togo. The Prophet ﷺ once said that if the hour or if the day of resurrection is about to come and one of you happens to be holding a palm shoot in his hand or a seedling, let him take advantage of even one second before the hour is established or before the hour comes in order to plant the seedling. If a Muslim plants a tree or sows a seed, and then a bird or a person or an animal eats from it, it is regarded, according to the Prophet ﷺ, as a charitable gift. This is one of the main reasons why the Karkaria, in dialogue with local needs of communities in Togo, has invested significant efforts into planting trees. In this manner, the Karkaria order tries to live by example and to lead by example.
dans le village de Fulani Et nous remercions M. Sidi Sheikh Mohamed Faouzi El Kakaria pour le financement de 100 repas chauds aux orphelins et aux démunis de ce village. Nous remercions l'association El Maoun et M. Sidi Sheikh Mohamed d'avoir pensé aux orphelins de ce village. Merci. Qu'Allah vous bénisse et vous récompense pour vos bienfaits avec les orphelins de ce village. Merci. Another important project that the Karkaria order engages in in the country of Togo is supporting vulnerable and marginalized members of society, and specifically orphans. The projects of the Karkaria order are geared toward founding and supporting existing local orphanages in poverty-stricken areas. To this effect, the Prophet ﷺ says that the one who cares for an orphan and myself will be together in paradise like this. And he held his two fingers together to illustrate the proximity between him and the person who cares for orphans. This is why one of the important teachings of the Karkaria order is supporting vulnerable and marginalized orphans and ensuring that they have a sustainable future and the basic needs are met in the immediate present. There is a growing community of Karkaria members on the island of Madagascar. One of the main projects in Madagascar of the Karkaria order is providing fresh water for communities who experience water scarcity. Water is a blessing from God that we often take for granted. But when we have a lack of water, we become more conscious of its absolute vitality. And given the importance of distributing water in the prophetic Sira and following the efforts of the Kingdom of Morocco to lead in sustainable development projects, the Karkaria order has invested in water security for various communities in Madagascar.
effort by the Kerkeria Order among communities in Madagascar has been the sponsorship of orphanages. The Prophet ﷺ proclaimed, Blessed is the wealth of the Muslim from which he gives to the poor, the orphan, and the traveler. Giving charity blesses one's wealth and increases it. And to this effect, the Prophet said that the best house among the Muslims is one where an orphan is well treated. The Kerkeria Order of Madagascar has also invested significant effort and resources in sponsoring basic religious education for children. The Quran schools of Madagascar, shown in the videos, have benefited from direct sponsorship of funds from the Kerkeria Order to ensure that the youth and the young members of the Muslim community of Madagascar have access to basic religious education and to the basics of Quranic teachings. The Moroccan Karkaria Order also invests time, resources, and efforts in development projects in Ghana. To this effect, the Karkaria identifies local NGOs that are doing good work on the ground in Ghana and supports them through funding. With regard to water security projects, the Karkaria Order has endeavored to fund and sponsor the building and maintenance of wells in various parts of the nation. To this effect, the Messenger of God was asked which charity is best, and he replied, providing water. The Messenger of God also said that God exalted will say on the day of resurrection, speaking to his servants. O child of Adam, I asked you for something to drink, but you did not give it to me. The servant will be astonished and will say, O Lord, how could I give you something to drink when you are the Lord of the worlds? Then the Lord will say, My servant so-and-so asked you to give him something to drink, but you did not give it to him. Had you given it to him, you would have surely found that with me. The projects that are aimed at supporting communities' basic water needs are responsive to these key religious teachings that are found in the scriptures of the Islamic tradition. Saïk Mohamed Fawzi et Al Kalkari. Donc, euh, je vais appeler l'imam qui, pour qu'il nous introduise dans une prière d'ouverture du prismatique. <muches> 
كما صليت على ابراهيم وعلى ابراهيم وعلى ال ابراهيم انك حمد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى ال محمد كما باركت على ابراهيم وعلى ال ابراهيم انك حمد مجيد سوره فاتيه بسم الله الرحمن الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين اياك نعبد واياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم سيرات الذين انعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين in Ghana the order has also helped sponsor fund and found an orphanage this stress upon helping and supporting orphanages is a direct application of the teachings of the Quran in surah al-insan god describes people who give their food to orphans and to the needy purely for the sake of god wa yut'imuna at-ta'ama 'ala hubbihi and they give food in spite of love for it to the needy the orphan and the captive saying we feed you only for the countenance of god we don't want from you either reward or gratitude indeed we fear from our lord a day austere and distressful ghana is a site where the karkaria order has been able to support orphanages in an effort to help the most needy and marginalized members of society The Karkaria order is also responsive toward locally identified needs and we work through local non-governmental partners to fund and support the successful work of local NGOs in collaborative projects. Such projects in Ghana include a number of charity efforts which have helped support the needs of local communities. This type of outreach has been met with gratitude and positive feedback. In Niger, the Karkaria order raises funds for a number of development projects. Here, the projects and efforts are geared toward providing water security as well as water sustainability.
African country that the Karkaria has been engaged in sustainable development projects is Cameroon. The Prophet ﷺ said that pouring what remains from your bucket into the bucket of your brother is a form of charity. In the Cameroon, the Karkaria has raised funds to provide water needs for local communities. Karkaria order has also sponsored orphanages. The Prophet ﷺ once advised one of his companions, telling him to bring the orphan close to him, to pat him on the head, to feed him with the same food that he eats, for that will soften your heart and it will fulfill your needs. The Prophet ﷺ said that if anyone strokes an orphan's head, he will gain the blessings for every hair over which his hand passes. And if anyone treats well an orphan girl or boy under his care, he and I will be together in paradise like this. And the Prophet held his two fingers close together. When a man once complained to the Prophet of having a hard heart, he replied, then stroke an orphan's head, and feed the poor to soften your heart. In an effort to soften the hearts, the Kirkaria order has been investing in the children and orphans of Cameroon. Alongside the development charitable efforts in Cameroon, the Kirkaria also supports the basic needs of various communities, food security efforts to address poverty, hunger, and malnutrition are very real concerns and the Karkaria order has tried to invest in these needs and to address the immediate concerns of the communities on the ground. The believer, said the Prophet ﷺ, is not he who eats his fill while his neighbor is hungry. To this effect, the Sheikh Muhammad Fawzi al Karkari has stressed the importance of feeding one's neighbor, if at all possible. Another country that the Karkaria order has invested in sustainable development projects in is the Ivory Coast. Here, the projects are geared also towards water security. On the authority of Sa'd ibn Ubadah, a companion of the Prophet, he said, O Messenger of God, the mother of Sa'd has died, so what charity is best? And he replied, providing water. And so Sa'd, may God be pleased with him, dug a well and said, this well is for the mother of Sa'd. 
narrated by Abu Dawood. It is in this long-standing tradition of providing water for those in need that the Karkaria order has invested in water security projects in the Ivory Coast. of providing food supplies to those in need is a central teaching of the Islamic tradition. The Prophet ﷺ says that the person who strives on behalf of widows and the poor is like the one who strives in the way of God and is like the one who fasts in the day and prays at night. Providing basic food supplies is one of the central activities of the Karkaria order in the Ivory Coast. extended food supplies to Senegal, a country with long and deep-rooted historical connections to the Kingdom of Morocco. Thank you.